Hey everyone, Falcon Uruguay here. Yes, I'm alive, and uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, sending me their uh, emails and their best wishes and everything, and I apologize for not making any videos lately. I've been very busy with work, and most of you guys know how that works. Um, this is going to be a real short and dirty video. Uh, basically, as the title says, I uh, visited my local dollar store yesterday and was perusing around and found a couple of really interesting items that uh, I figured it'd be nice to make a review on. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, it's going to be really quick and dirty. First one is one of these little Star Kissed uh, Gourmet Select uh, Thai Style Tuna. It comes with the crackers and everything, as you can see here. 150 calories. It's not much to it. I mean, it's uh, your standard little pre-made, uh, little pre-made, you know, tuna salad kind of deal. But for a dollar, it's not bad. And you know, it'd be a nice little addition to a to an MRE or uh, a little bug out kit or something. So we've got that. That's one of the things we're going to review. The next one is uh, slightly off-brand um, Brunswick tuna salad with crackers. Same thing. You know, just your standard little pre-mixed uh, tuna salad. Nothing nothing great. Again, a dollar. What more do you want? So we've got that. And then we've got, well, we've got chicken salad also. If we can get that in focus. Here we go. Yep, chicken salad. And again, same thing. You know, your standard, your standard stuff. And it's a, you know, nice shelf stable. Not much to it. So we've got that. And then uh, one of the other things I saw, which I found kind of interesting and I got a good laugh out of, was this bacon grill luncheon loaf. Now notice chicken, ham, and bacon smoke flavoring added because you got to have that smoke flavoring. So uh, again, you know, you can see here uh, uh, heavy on the sodium as you would expect for a luncheon loaf, but uh, you know, nice little seven ounce again. Look, you can see the date on here. That's good for, that's good for uh, oh, three years according to this. So, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things. And then the piece de resistance, the uh, the one thing that I really got a good chuckle out of, it's something I've never seen before, and I don't think anybody on YouTube has ever reviewed this. And I could not pass up the opportunity to do this, although I'm sure I will regret this, but. Da, 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 da. canned chicken bologna yes you've seen it here first folks canned chicken bologna just when we thought that the canned cheeseburger was a little extreme they took it to a next level and they have a canned bologna as you can see here um you can see some of the nutritional stuff and a uh, product of USA. Hey, USA, USA. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, it's, a, it's an 11 ounce can, as you can see here, pretty standard. And here's the date code on it. Good until 2018. So, oh boy, let's get started on all this. So, let's uh, move everything over here and bring out our good old trusty tray. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start off with the Star Kissed since uh, we're going to start off with the name brand stuff here. And uh, as you can see, not really the cleanest opening here, but uh, there we go. This is what's inside. Basically, you have a little packet of crackers. You have your tuna and i dropped whoops i dropped the spoon give me a second here to get it and uh <laughs> ah, you can tell i'm rusty from doing these <laughs> again this is going to be quick and dirty no editing no nothing this is just going to be straightforward and a little spoon so let's get started uh Let's open up the crackers and see what these look like. And as you can see here, we're looking at 
Ah, these look like, uh, kind of like the vegetable crackers in the MREs, except they're more Ritz-like, quote unquote. As you can see here, it's a standard, probably multi-grain or some sort of vegetable cracker. That looks rather interesting. Let's put those out on the tray here. And now we'll crack open our Star Kiss tuna here, and this is the the Thai style tuna. And we'll just crack that open here. There we go. And we'll go ahead, and that's what she looks like on the inside. We've got some looks like some Thai chilies and. Uh, whatever sauce this is. I'm sure it's some sort of a maybe sriracha based sauce. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, you know. Tuna looks good, it smells pretty decent. Nothing off-putting or anything. So let's uh, get ourselves a good little spoonful of this and we'll get it up here close to the camera so you can look at it. And let's uh, pop that on a cracker here. And uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, not too bad, we'll dig in on that. Mm. Okay. Um, a little spicy. Nothing, you know, too crazy. Definitely get a nice little hit of heat in the back of your throat. Uh, tuna tastes pretty good. Uh, it's not overly salty. I'm sure that the sodium level is going to be high, but you really don't taste it much in the product here. It's, uh, let me get you some of this straight here. There you go. Mm. Again... Good tuna flavor, moist, got a nice little bit of spice, not overwhelming and not overpowering. Mm, now, overall, that's not too bad. Even the spoon is a little on the flimsy side here in the end, but it's kind of sturdy in the middle and it's kind of a little flexible over here, but it does the job. You know, that'd be a nice little quick snack at the office or on the road or something if you're out and about. It's a good idea to have a couple of those floating around in the car or something in case somebody gets a little peckish. Uh, all right, we'll move on. And we'll try the tuna salad here with the crackers, the Brunswick. And uh, let's, I guess, open it this way. And we've got pretty much the same thing here. We've got a our little pack of crackers. We've got a little really basic flat spoon as you can see here this is as flat as a pancake got a little divot there on the back side of it but and then our our can as you can see here you know two and a half ounces uh let's see see what some of the ingredients are on this if we can get them get it to focus here come on Focus. There we go. Oh, had it and lost it. <laughs> there we go. Tuna, vegetable broth, mayonnaise, celery, textured soy flour, sugar carrots, blah, blah, blah. All right. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, check out the little crackers here. And... Again, similar to these, except these look more like, I guess, uh, Ritz-style cracker. Uh, there seem to be a nice quantity of those. Let's get those out on the tray here. All right, so we've got our we've got our crackers. Now let's uh, get into the into the deal here, and we'll pop that open. And it's our it's a foil lid here, so let's pop that off. And we've got our tuna salad. 
and uh, is definitely very moist and uh, you can see here there's a little bit of carrot looks like there's uh, I'm not sure if that's the celery or if that's like a pepper or something not entirely sure on that but let's get some here on a, some of this on a uh, on the spoon here the so-called spoon definitely heavy on the mayonnaise on this but let's get some on here on a cracker and see if I could find one of these little bits of carrot here ah there we go so as you can see we've got a little bit of a little piece of carrot right there and we got some celery and stuff and uh, it doesn't smell too bad you know for you know, for tuna salad it smells like what tuna salad would be except it's a lot a lot more mayo than I would have expected. Would have expected expected this to be a little drier, but let's try it out. Let's give this a taste. Mm. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. You get the tuna flavor, but you definitely taste the mayo. And um, you can taste the celery and the carrots in there. It's a little on the sweet side, but not overly sweet. You know, you could the, the sweetness is there, I guess, from the carrots and the celery. But uh, that's actually not too bad. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too bad. The crackers are nice. They they have a very nice little buttery taste to them. They're nice and crispy. They they're holding up really well. They um. Don't have a lot of salt on them, but I guess you wouldn't need that with the uh, probably all the sodium that's going to be in the uh, in the tuna salad itself. But yeah, that's not too bad at all. All right, let's move this over here to the side and let's try the chicken salad. Now this one's going to be interesting because some of you may or may not know canned chicken is always kind of scary. So. Let's uh, pop this out. Get rid of that. And again, same as the as the tuna salad, we have our little pack of crackers, our so-called spoon. Let's see here, this one. All right, and then our our chicken salad here. So let's pop this open and see what we got here. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice little reassuring pop when you pop the lid here from the vacuum. And uh, let's uh, check this out here. Well, not too bad. It kind of looks like the tuna salad. I see little bits of celery in there and don't see any carrots. But uh, let's see here. Let's see what this says. Cooked chicken. Oh, let's see if we can get this to focus here a little better. There we go. Cooked chicken, mayonnaise celery water chestnuts ah textured soy flour blah 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 okay so kind of hard to make out the chestnuts i guess it, the water chestnuts are probably in there so we'll find out in a minute let's uh crack open the, the crackers here and uh again these look to be the same type of crackers as the Tuna salad. Yeah, they're the same exact ones. So let's uh, put those out on the tray there. Although it seems like you get less crackers in this packet than I did in the packet for the tuna salad because this came with six crackers. This only has five. So maybe a, maybe a goof at the factory. Who knows? So... Let's get some of this on a cracker here and uh, pop that on there. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Smells good. I mean, it doesn't, there's no off putting smells or anything. It just smells like what you would expect a chicken salad to smell like, you know, kind of like the chicken salad you would get in a chicken salad sandwich that you buy at, at a convenience store or something very similar to that. 
And as you can see here, you can see the little bits of celery on here. Again, I can't make out the water chestnut, but let's give this a shot. Mmm. All right. Um. Hmm. Definitely taste the mayo, and I taste the celery. Um, I got the little crunch of the water chestnut in there, but the chicken really, it adds the texture, but not the flavor of chicken. It's kind of odd. Hmm. That's very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's very, that's very interesting. Um, uh, definitely... Hmm. Definitely am not getting the chicken flavor. Now you can see this is obviously some sort of dark meat, probably some dark meat chicken mixed in with a, maybe a little white meat. You can see here it's kind of dark. So it might be thigh meat or something. But um, it is, it, it's definitely little chunks of meat in there. Probably pre-cooked and all that and put into the can. But uh, not a whole lot of flavor to this. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad, but... I don't know. I mean, the tuna salad gave you a lot of tuna flavor. It was really nice, but the chicken salad is kind of bland. I mean, it has every other flavor but chicken flavor. So... All right, well, we'll put that over here and let's put these crackers together since they're all pretty much the same. All right, next, we're going to look at our luncheon loaf here. Bacon grill. This is going to be interesting. Hmm. This will be very, very interesting. So I would imagine this is going to be a spam-like product. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that glistening meat. Oh, the innuendos and jokes that can be made at this time. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Yep, that's what she looks like. Little blob of homogenous pink goo in there. But uh, let's see if we can do this without too much mess here. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Boy, it don't want to. It don't want to go. Oh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. I can hear it I'm trying to go. Ah, there she is. Yep, that is. Uh, yeah, that's what you would call meat. <laughs> uh, let's see what this says here on the on the. Uh, on the ingredients list here, let's uh, see if we can get that to focus. There, well, had it, lost it. Come on, come on. There we go. Kind of hard to read, but mechanically separated chicken, water, ham, salt, bacon. Well, so bacon's up there. And, of course, you know, the usual smoke flavorings and everything else. So, all right. Let's, uh... Let's break out the trusty old Swiss Army knife here and cut off a cut off a bit of this, and uh, we'll try it out. Let's uh, cut into it here, and hmm, slices pretty easily. And uh, let's get that up here so you can see it. Let's uh, actually do this. Whoop! Well. That was beautiful. <laughs> well, as you can see here, we've got our our meat, and it looks like a you know that canned ham that you would find anywhere, or a spam-like product. So uh, let's go ahead and let's cut a little piece off of this, and let's uh, give this a taste here. All right. 
let's try that. You know what? Let's try it on a cracker. Let's uh, let's do it that way. So there she is on a cracker, and we'll give that a try. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I taste the ham. And I can taste a little of the bacon in there. Chicken, you don't really get so much because I think the ham and the bacon flavoring, of course, is going to overwhelm it. But you know what? That is actually not too bad. I mean, would I go and eat it every day? No, not at all. I mean, would I go out of my way to go buy another can of this stuff? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I would, you know, I'd may, I may keep a can of this on the shelf as a, you know, just in case, or, you know, it might come in handy to do something else with it. I'm... I'm sure this would probably be really good pan fried or even or, or on the grill on a grill or on a griddle or something that might be really good but it's not bad it's actually not too bad um yeah I mean it's uh mm. it's edible Yeah, I, no, that's not too bad, actually. I was kind of scared, but that's actually not too bad. Hmm. Yeah. All right. That's actually kind of acceptable. That's, um... It's, it's not as salty as Spam, I can tell you that right now. It is definitely not as salty as Spam. Uh, so, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. I, I kind of prefer this over over normal plain Jane spam. Uh, yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's a interesting thing here. Let's uh, kind of move this over to the other spot here, and uh, we'll give this a quick wipe down here while on camera. So that way we kind of have a. Nice little clean, well, as clean as we can get it here. Little spot for our next, our next product here, which is the one that's gonna really, really scare me the most, is the chicken bologna. Oh, what fresh hell this might end up being. We'll see. Uh, we'll do a little jump cut here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and let me grab a, another paper towel here. Whoops. Sorry about that, folks. I'm going to grab a little paper towel here and uh, clean that off. And we're going to break out our trusty little can opener. And we'll at least get this started here. Come on. All right, no hiss there, but we'll do a jump cut to where it's open, so. All right, we're near the end here. And I forgot how bad these can openers are on these Swiss Army knives here, but let's see if we can pop this open here without too much issue. Uh, find the little spots that didn't go through all the way. All right. There we go, and oh boy, oh that's a scary looking sight there. Yep, that looks like something. Well, let's see here, let's get that cleaned up a little bit. Oh yeah, obviously the stuff to make the bologna was just poured straight into the can here and then I guess cooked in the can so let's see if we could get this out on the tray here uh, it sounds like it wants to go but 
Man, it's stubborn. Hmm. See if we can coax it to come out here. Wow, it don't hit. It's like it hasn't made up his mind whether it wants to get out of the can or not. You can hear it in there. It's loose, but I think part of it might still be stuck in the can there. Well, there we go. Oh! And, yeah, you could see where some of it kind of stuck in the can there from the, I guess, from the cooking process. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That, my friends, is canned bologna. Gee, it definitely makes that canned cheeseburger look like a million dollars right now, don't it? Wow. All right. Sorry, Mr. Swiss Army Blade here. I'm going to have to use you to cut into this. But uh, let's cut into this bad boy right down the middle here. Get a nice little cross section going. And uh, let's see here. We can prop that up on its side. And, uh, yeah, that looks like your standard everyday chicken bologna that you get at the supermarket. Only it's in a can. Can't wrap my mind around that still. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I've seen a lot of things put in, put into cans. I mean, canned bacon, you know, canned cheeseburgers. Uh, bologna has got to be my first one on the list here that I, uh, that kind of caught me off guard, but let's, uh, give that another slice here. And as you can see, yeah, it just looks like your standard everyday bologna. Um, let's, uh, cut ourselves a little piece here. And, uh. Yeah, let's, uh, I guess we'll put that on a cracker also, here. Might have literally ended up biting off more than I could chew here, but, uh, oh boy, wish me well, folks, here we go, diving right in. Hmm, well... Hmm. Interesting. Um, smells but like bologna. Looks like bologna. Tastes like not much else. <laughs> um, that's odd. Um, you get the texture of bologna in your mouth, but um, the flavor is very subtle, and I mean very subtle. I tasted, in that bite, I tasted more the cracker than I did the bologna. Uh, let me give this another shot here. Mmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um. I gotta say. Uh... Yeah, uh, almost at a loss for words here. It's um, it's not horrible. I mean, it's not uh, it's not the worst thing I've eaten, but uh, I mean, it's uh, it's not bad. It's uh. Mm. Get a bite of it straight here. Mm. Yeah, it's very, it's got a very subtle chicken bologna flavor. It's not, definitely it's a lot milder than your standard bologna that you buy off the shelf. Even the cheap stuff, you know, that really cheap bologna that, you know, a lot of supermarkets carry nowadays, the stuff that, Almost costs as much as this does, but um, this is definitely a lot more subtle, and it's not salty either, which is 
very shocking. I was I was expecting this to be just a salt bomb, and it's not. Huh. That's very interesting. Hmm. That's um. That's actually not too bad. Um, I mean, nothing to write home about, but I think in a in a pinch, if you um, were in a uh, in a situation where if you came up upon this, you know, in your in your treks, and um, you know, if you were foraging at a, at a location, or if you uh, needed to do a quick little bug out bag and wanted to get some stuff that give you a bit of protein and something that you know will last a while, um, this would work. Uh, uh, like I said, it, it's not pretty looking by by any means, but flavor-wise, it's not bad. It definitely will keep you alive. Uh, yeah, that's actually not too bad. Um, there's not much else I could say about that, really. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I guess that uh, that's not bad. That's uh, that's r rather acceptable. So, uh, I guess that concludes our quick little quick and dirty dollar store uh, shelf stable stuff that I found on my recent journey. Um, uh, I want to give a shout out to both Gun Dog and Steve nineteen eighty nine. Heads up, uh, you'll be receiving. One of these in the mail pretty soon. So uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think of this and your review on it. So um, this is Falcon Uruguay. Uh, again, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please like, subscribe, and follow me. I'm going to try to do some more videos in 2017. I'm going to try to get some more MRE videos up and everything. So stay tuned. Have fun, everybody.